Last time I was down here in the lower field, I was thinking about all the charcoal that we created. This golf cart, the suspension is so stiff, it beats you up. Driving past that little erosion spot. So we had this fire a couple months ago and I'm ready to grab some of this charcoal and put it on our garden because it's really good for the garden. I think I'll run back down here and get two more. I just remembered I had this uh, feed bag on the cart, so I decided I'll just go ahead and fill out this feed bag and I won't, I won't make two trips. Of tomatoes in there see little bits of orange and red in between the leaves a lot of good food here's our sweet potatoes got a couple weeds growing up between them but not much it'll be fun to see how those come out we've never grown them before or at least I've never grown them before I don't think Cindy has wow more of those tomatoes Whew. Here I'm dumping out that charcoal and realizing, wow, it doesn't go very far. I need a whole bunch more. Let's do one more load. There's still plenty of it down here. So this is about halfway done. I've been pulling grass off of these areas and putting grass over here in this corner, up against the patio. I've been moving grass over and putting it in the places that I'm done working on. This uh, area right here is still a mound that needs to be cut down. So looking at it from this side, this water will drain off near the house. We wanna push it out here more and have it go out around these bushes. So I still have to cut this down, this mound. After working on the back porch yesterday, this morning we're getting a big rain so it looks like the water is flowing well I haven't finished digging this out so it can't completely release but I do see that there's less water up here and more water down there so we can it looks to me like it's flowing well I've been using a level to try to get it to flow well <laughs> and then once we get this out of the way It'll be able to just move on down. Here's a mushroom I've never tried that I do think is edible. 
I need to learn a little bit more about it. You can actually see something's been eating it. They don't have gills like you see on typical mushrooms. It's part of how I identify them and the stem is really thick. It seems like the ones I've seen people eating, the stem was even thicker. So I don't know if mine is just a different variety that is still good or if it's a different mushroom. This must be the year of rainbows. It's beautiful the way the light shines on the tops of the trees. This might look kind of like I'm showing the same video that I did a couple of weeks ago, but this is actually a brand new rainbow. You can tell by this bright top of the trees across these hills. The rainbow has a soft blended color down here. And up here, the divisions between the colors are so much sharper where you can see each color more clearly. And then it looks like there's a big golden doorway. There's, there's this world and then there's the golden world over there and you can just cross into it. Back at it again. So I've now got this ground where it's just gonna flow right out nice and easy. It's it's very slow. It's not a, it's, the downhill is hardly at all. It's mostly just level, but very slightly downhill. It's fun to take the grass from where I'm digging now and move it to where I have been digging. All of this grass had been removed and it's replaced again. This I just put across today. Some was already at the patio, but then I built this bridge so we can walk out into the yard. This over here is a mound that I'm still working on bringing down. And that's where I'm taking the grass from right now and continuing to add it right here. Okay, I got that all covered up all the way down to here. So I'll have to bring some grass from around the side of the house like I did on the picnic shelter project. Now I can really see it from this side where what used to be a mound, clearly a concave ditch. I'm over here by the solar panels and we have this little staging area where we keep our chicken tractors we're not using and our trailer with the sheep uh, pin on it. And you might remember that we used an old telephone pole that they took down over here. No, actually it was further down. And made a little garden space here that we haven't used yet. <laughs> we just piled up a bunch of dirt. We never did spread it out. But today I need some grass to continue at the back door of the house. So I just mowed this grass and I'm gonna start taking out some of this grass because obviously we're gonna spread this dirt out and we don't need a bunch of grass underneath it that's gonna grow through into the garden. So perfect place for me to steal some grass and not worry about whether it grows back. This this will be a project later. This is the greenhouse. And uh, so we'll be starting that probably within a month because it'll be time to start getting it ready for fall. It's hard to think about fall when it keeps being so hot. It's funny how this year we haven't had the high temperatures, at least where I live in North Carolina, We've not had the high temperatures that we have a lot of summers. We're, we're not having uh, 95 degree weather, you know, multiple, multiple days. Um, we're, let's, I guess, low 90s is where we're getting some temperatures, mostly 80s, high 80s. And uh, yet it feels like a hot summer. I guess it's uh, the humidity or something. I don't even know what's making it feel that way but uh, it feels like a, a hot summer when it's not a hot summer. And respectfully, I do know that there's other parts of the country that are having really serious heat this year. Um, in the deep south, it seems like they're having uh, heat index over 100 for days and days on end. And uh, I think I heard somebody today saying maybe something like 80, 
80 days of 100 degree index or higher. So that's, that's horrible. And we hope that uh, you get through that and have a nice, comfortable fall. barely getting a good start. I'm, I'm gonna bring some good soil in here and sort of mix it with this red soil. While I'm over here though, I saw this uh, pokeweed plant. I'm sure you've seen it and might be familiar with it. This is the thing that really shows you that's definitely a pokeweed plant. Uh, a lot of kids in this part of the country love uh, playing with the berries and getting this dye on their hands or maybe playing Native American and putting it on their face or something. I don't know how long it'll stay in my hand. Maybe the rest of today, maybe by tomorrow it'll be gone. But it's a fun thing to play with. Some people uh, use this to make some ink or dye. I don't think it was an industry ever, but it's just a fun, like, thing you can do yourself and and make some ink or dye at this time when the plant is all red like this the stem is red you would not want to eat this plant it's more poisonous now than it is when it's fresh so this is the plant that you have to boil it at least twice to eat it so you would boil it a few minutes in a pot of hot water you know a pot of boiling water and uh then you have fresh water ready to boil it again. So you might even have your second pot already boiling so you can move the leaves over into the second pot and just completely discard the water in the first pot. Um, that would be the minimum, you know, 10 or 15 minutes in the first pot and the second pot would be the minimum I've heard of that you would cook it. Some people say that's plenty. Um, other people say, oh no, you gotta boil it three times or you gotta boil it half an hour each time or whatever. And then it's supposed to have a flavor a little bit like uh, asparagus. Um, I think some people say between asparagus and spinach. I still haven't tried it myself. For years now, I've wanted to try it and maybe next spring. And off the top of my head, the only benefit I can think of right this minute is that it's anti-inflammatory. Um, some people even dry the berries and eat like one berry a day. Um, as an anti-inflammatory. So some people say, oh no, the berries are so poisonous you could never just eat them. Um, so anyway, all that is for your own research. I'm not suggesting that you eat this plant. I'm just telling you a little bit about it or any plant that I tell you about. You know, I'm just giving you a little hint of some things and then you do your own research. That looks like a good load. Let's take it over there and spread it out. <laughs> 